What's up ladies and gentlemen, Pyrostasis here, and we're going to go play with, I believe, some Hagravens, which uh, should be rather interesting. I had planned on doing some other stuff, but I bumped in some, some nasty bugs here in Skyrim, and I had to actually go edit some files and such, and just kind of ran out of time. I think this quest is going to be brief, but I still wanted to go ahead and actually do something in Skyrim today before I had to start streaming, so hopefully I'll be able to get up some more content tomorrow. Ooh. Yeah, I love it when she calls me pathetic and then I knock her over in one hit. That that always warms Pyro's cold dead heart. Yes. Whoa! A hag. That's actually her character name. Poor thing. So glad I have Spellbreaker now. It just makes mages so much more easy to deal with. Alrighty, well... Looks like we have another point of interest over in that direction, but I'm here for a quest. Now, the quest that I'm on right now is one I got in Whiterun. Uh, it's to retrieve Nettlebane. It's for the lady that uh, hangs out here. Now, the easiest way to get to Orphan Rock is to come to Helgen. That's the town pretty much where you started in. That's where you were held and the dragon attacked and blah, blah, blah. And you just basically run straight down the road, and it's pretty hard to miss. And these uh, guys do definitely make it a little bit easier to find since they're throwing... Did she die on her own? What what the fuck killed her? I, I'm so confused and I don't even understand. She somehow managed to kick her own ass. How dare she deprive me of the joy of kicking her ass. Ugh. Hopefully all the monsters don't become suicidal. That would just ruin the fun of the game. And somebody's shooting magic at... Oh! Hello! The hell was that? Okay, this is an act. Whoa! This is an actual Hagraven. These are not fun people. You can hear her breathing. Oh, that's just nasty. Down to you, biatch! Yeah, it's kind of like a harpy, I think. It's like, I mean, you'll notice her arms and and legs. I mean, those are some serious digits right there. Good God. Alright, there be the nettle bane that we are looking for. So that will allow me to complete that quest. I'm going to go ahead and open up this chest so I can make use of my wonderful perk. Have I told you guys how much I love this perk? Probably going to have to hear that in every video from here on. Just how awesome uh, completing that quest line is. I mean, it, it's a bitch. It takes a while to do. But uh, it, it's totally worth it. Now since that was that short, we're going to go ahead and come over here real quick and see what this point of interest is. I have no idea what we've got over here. Oh shit! Somebody's been leaving some nasty bear traps out here. That's just not cool. Somebody could get hurt. Got a fox. North Skybound Watch. What, what? Huh? Oh, dude, you can't you can't do that to a little innocent fox or wolf or whatever the hell that is. Okay, he like stunned me or something. Killing that fox. Not cool. And you're just missing your head now, buddy. Sorry about... Oh, dude, do you see that? Here. I got an arrow sticking out of my side. Well, I did. I don't need more. Damn it. Oh, well. Look pretty painful, actually. <laughs> That's like having a nice arrow sticking out of your guts to wake you up in the morning. See what this guy has. Poor fox. That just that, that wasn't cool at all. Songs of Skyrim. Now, this guy kills a fox, yet he's carrying around something like Songs of Skyrim. That that just seems a little little twisted to me. Alrighty. Now I've seen these places and other spots, and they all have this little pedestal thing here. I have no idea what it is. I think this is for something later on. It may be something used with the uh, the priest masks, the dragon priest masks, 
which I haven't, uh, I've only got one of them so far. Ooh, here we go. Let's see where this leads. But I'm pretty sure, considering there's multiple uh, setups like that, I'm pretty sure that they have something to do with the main storyline. A Marauder, huh? That's a name I haven't seen on a bandit yet. Okay. I love it when they talk shit and then they get two shot. Oh, fucking hell! Did y'all see that? Holy shit, I barely, that barely missed me. I mean, that almost took me out. I mean, most of these traps really don't do a whole lot of damage to me because I'm in heavy armor, but I was charging in the opposite direction. Something tells me that would have left a mark. I'm pretty sure this will be my exit out later on. You can see the mark right there, but we'll see. Just want to trigger that trap again just for shits and giggles. It's a nasty little battering ram they got there. No, nope, must have already read that book at some point in time. Some decent fur armor, if fur armor is your thing. Whoops. There we go, and more beautiful gems. Thank you so very much. Let's see what we got in here. I did get a request to do some more... Holy fuck, that's a big spider. How is she hurt? Oh, that did nothing. Oh. Um, I did get a request to do some more of the Dark Brotherhood quest line. So, I will be... What the hell? I'll be busting out with my, uh, archer tomorrow. I will be, uh... Just doing some of those quests. I'll probably finish off the Thieve Guild line with her and the, uh, at least I think it's a her. I don't remember if that's a male or a female character. Either way, I'm going to do the Dark Brotherhood quest line to completion, and then I'll do the, uh, the Thieves Guild line to completion. I need to go back and do the uh, companion line with this. And sometime this week, I plan on getting a little bit further into the Mages College. Since I did end up getting the game fixed, I'll continue on with the storyline for the game with the Orc. We should have quite a bit of content coming out of the pipe over the next couple weeks, guys. So definitely stay tuned so you don't miss out on anything. Oh, did you just fucking die? Oh, that looked like it hurt. Not quite as much as that. That, that definitely hurt more. Alright, let's see what we got in that chest. And that chest is trapped. This guy had some decent armor for a bandit. Whoops. These are kind of a bitch to trigger. Um, you have to be very careful because if you fail on your lockpick on your first... Well, even if, even if you get it open, it's still going to trigger. So, you have to make sure you get these right, otherwise... Like right there, there's some poison darts there. Now you could probably open the chest from this side and not take any damage as long as there isn't a secondary trap and I don't see one. Man, that's some nice stuff. Some really nice stuff. Alrighty. Sorry, I've been playing Deuce X and a few other games, so my hotkeys, uh... <laughs> like in Deuce X, I have to press C to crouch, and so I just keep pressing that instead of uh, instead of doing it the right way. More gem. Oh my god, look at this. That is insane. It's going to take me like a week and a half to sell all this. I mean, I have... i got to show you guys how many gems I have picked up. And I haven't even really been doing all of that. I've got ten amethysts, diamond, three emeralds, five flawless amethysts, three flawless emeralds, eleven flawless garnets, Seven flawless rubies, sapphires, garnets. Just gems coming out of everywhere. So these, th this is definitely going to be good. I'm thinking about getting the investment perk on my thief just so I can invest in some of these shops and give them more money so that uh, selling, on at least on that tune, will be easier. I may do it on my mage as well. 
Unfortunately, my orc, I don't think he's going to have the extra skill points available to do it. So, we'll have to see. One other announcement. I will be doing streaming starting this week every night uh, at 8 o'clock central. And this week, I'm kind of still trying to decide what we're going to be doing streaming-wise. I've had a lot of requests for Modern Warfare, so I may be doing a week of Modern Warfare. If you've got Modern Warfare and you want to play with me, you just need to add TDK Pyrostasis uh, on your PSN, and I will accept your friend's request. And then when I start, I'll just toss out invites, and if you're there, you'll get accepted. Uh, if not, you know, we'll just keep filling up till we, uh, till we fill up got over here some embalming tools helmet nothing really all that special and I think that's more or less it where did we wind up at all right so we entered over here and we came out over in this area so I don't see anything else out here I think this is just gonna take me back to town so anyways hope you guys like the brief little clip sorry oh wait wait what the hell is that? What is that? Wisps? I've never... Ah! They're like little fucking magic squid. Or jellyfish. Or... Ow! Oh, man. That was really strange. Did they give me a disease? Reduced lockpick and pickpocket. Metaxia. Alright, well. I am going to kill whatever the hell a wisp mother. Huh? Good night. Thank you for Spellbreaker. Almost to ya. Oh my god. Oh, holy shit, there's a million of them. I think I got her down. Jeez. I gotta get some distance from these guys. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, now we got a shade over there. Jesus, these things are evil. I'm gonna go ahead and eat the home cooked meal that my loving wife made for me. Holy shit. Draw to the healer. Restoration spells are 30% stronger. I'm not really gonna get, be able to get that off at the moment. Extreme healing. That sounds like a good idea right about now. Extreme stamina. I'm full health. I'm okay. Alright. Okay, crit strike the shade. Alright, now we just got this one, the wisp mother. Good lord. Yeah, so when you walk out of this cave, you're going to want to be careful. There's some pure black nasty evil. Uh, for those of you who aren't familiar with Spellbreaker, the reason my block keeps dropping like that is she's doing more uh, than the ward can handle. And the ward usually does about 50... Um, it can block about 50 damage per second or per every couple seconds. It's pretty serious for uh, for casters. So for them to have been able to drop my ward, of course it didn't help that there were like three of them. So that was some serious spell casting DPS there. I don't know what happened to the Stormcloak soldier. He was there and then he kind of took off like a bat out of hell. Is there some other point of interest around here? Jesus. Yeah, I don't know what happened to that guy. Maybe I missed his corpse back there, but I don't think so. Alrighty, well, I'm thinking that's probably it for the surprises. So, anyways, hope you guys liked this video. If you did, please click that like button. Subscribe so you don't miss out on any of my other videos, tips, tricks, and guides. And I'll catch you guys in the next clip.